Yo, yo, what's going on, y'all? So, look, I got, I missed y'all yesterday. First of all, let me say I missed y'all. I had so much stuff to do, and then I got this star on my eye, you see? Right? So, I got that. Then, my ear, my ear started hurting so bad, and then my throat started coughing, and then I'm like, Lord... So, yeah, so I had all this stuff to do and then all this stuff that was going on with just the upper part of my body, my eye, my ear, my throat. <laughs> OK, so I'm like, <sighs> but, you know, I feel a little better. I have bought my glasses because I was like my eyes. So I was like, I brought my shades, you feel me, to put on. <laughs> to cover up my eye, but it is what it is. Okay, so <sighs> hey, yo, yo, <laughs> Heavenly Father, please lead me to where I need to be at this time. For I know it's through you that all things are possible, and it's in your name that I pray. Heavenly Father, I ask that you pour into me so that I can pour into your children. Heavenly Father, I ask that you counsel every plan of the enemy in Jesus' name. I ask that you cover me with the blood of Jesus. I ask that you cover the ministry, your ministry, with the blood of Jesus. I ask that you cover everyone under the sound of my voice and connected to your ministry. I ask that you cover them with the blood of Jesus and you cover their children with the blood of Jesus. For I know it's through you that all things are possible. Heavenly Father, I ask that you provide clarity, knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. In Jesus' name, I rebuke any demonic interference and activity and attachment. In Jesus' name, amen. So, <clears throat> the Lord called Moses and from the meeting tent gave him this message. Speak to, Is speak to the Israelites and tell them, when any one of you wishes to bring an animal offering to the Lord, such an, such an offering must be from the herd or from the flock. If his Holocaust offering is from the, is from the herd, it must be a male without blemish to find favor with the Lord. He shall bring it to the entrance of the meeting tent. And lay, there, and lay there his hand on the head of the Holocaust, so that it may be acceptable to make an atonement for him. He shall then slaughter the bull before the Lord, but Aaron's sons and priests shall offer up its blood by splashing it on the sides of the altar, which is at the entrance of the meeting tent. Then he shall skin the Holocaust and cut it up into pieces. So, what this is reminding me of is we no longer do these type of ritual and rituals and sacrifices where we are sacrificing animals and um, sacrificing animals to the Lord for our sins. Ever since Jesus Christ died, for our sins, we no longer had to sacrifice animals. We no longer had to do that because the blood of Jesus became the ultimate sacrifice. Okay, so that is the ultimate blood. And what the Father is bringing to mind is if you are trying to use these old rituals and sacrifices, or if there are people who are using um, animal sacrifices to try to make an atonement for their sins, which means to be forgiven for their sins. This is not something that is no longer acceptable. The only sacrifice that is acceptable for 44 is Jesus Christ. So he is the only person that you are to make your atonement to. For your sins. Okay, so.
if you want to be forgiven for your sins, then these ritual of sacrifices that you are participating in is not going to help. Long story short, these ritual of sacrifices that you are participating in to try to make an atonement for your sins or try to have protection or whatever it is that you are doing these rituals for, which is most likely for (laughs) then this is the wrong way to go about getting atonement for your sins. Okay. And where's my phone? Reparation for wrong or injury. Atonement refers to the forgiving or pardoning of sin in general and original sin in the particular through the suffering, death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. So this is the only way that your sins will be forgiven. This is the only way that your sins will will be pardoned is through the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. It's not going to be through any, um, nose is running. It's not going to be through any, any rituals, any animal sacrifices that you partake in. That's not going to help you get forgiveness for your sins. It's not going to help you get pardoned for your sins. The only thing that can help you receive forgiveness for your sins and pardoned for your sins is Jesus Christ. So if you don't believe that Jesus Christ died for you, if you don't believe that he came down from heaven to earth, died for your sins, and ascended back to heaven, then Houston, we have a problem. Okay? That's what I heard. Houston, we have a problem. Okay, that's the message. There's nothing that can pardon you or save you from your sins except for the blood of Jesus Christ. There's not a ritual or animal sacrifice that can do it. So if you out there trying to get forgiven for your sins, by making, doing animal sacrifices or animal slaughters or stuff like that, you're wasting your time. All of those rituals and sacrifices were made null and void the day Jesus Christ died on the cross for you. And that was the ultimate sacrifice. And that is now the ultimate blood. That blood is untouchable unbreakable there was um a witch that i had posted in my community tab and she was talking about how she would attack children how how her assignment from satan was to go work in the school as a teacher as a high school teacher and as a college professor and her job would be to attack the children and to mislead the children she said she would go to them while they were in there, while they were asleep, and she would wake them up. She said she would have to wake them up spiritually so they could follow her. And this is this is how she would mislead them. But she said there were other children because they were, I mean, she was their teacher. Why wouldn't they think that they could follow her if in a dream? But it's really in the spiritual realm, right? But however, um, she said there were certain children 
that when she got to them, they were covered in blood. They were dripping in blood. And she said, this wasn't, uh, she said, this wasn't goat's blood. This wasn't uh, bull's blood. This wasn't ox blood. This wasn't sheep's blood. Um, she said, because she can, she can get through that kind of blood. She said, this blood right here, she said she couldn't touch it. She couldn't come close to it. She said it was the blood of Jesus. See, those animal sacrifices and everything else, um, those things, they have a connection with the, 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 dark, the dark realm, the spiritual dark realm, killing animals and all this other kind of stuff now, ever since Christ became the ultimate sacrifice. Okay? So the blood, the blood of Jesus is the only type of blood that saves. That's not a blood of a goat. That's not a blood of an ox. That's not a blood of a cat. That's not a blood of a dog that can save you. That's not a blood of a rabbit that can save you. I heard a rabbit. That's not a blood of a rabbit that can save you. And maybe people did a rabbit because you think a rabbit is good luck. That's not a blood of a rabbit that can save you. The only blood that can save you and protect you from and, and, and I'm parting you from your sins and forgive you from your sins is the blood of Jesus Christ. That's the only blood. Every other blood can can be. You're not safe covered in that blood. She also said that there would be a ring of fire around those children. And she could not come close to those children. There were certain children that she could not touch. And she said those children that were covered in the blood that was dripping in blood and they had the ring of fire around them. She said those children had parents that prayed over them and those children also prayed themselves. OK, she said she worked with high school and college students. So they had parents praying over them and they also prayed themselves. These are 12, 12. These are not little kids we talking about, but miniature adults to adults that she was sent to attack to mislead in the spiritual realm and if you're not a, if you don't have praying parents and if you're not praying over yourself and covering yourself with the blood of Jesus cuz that is the only blood that saves then you are unprotected you are unde you are undivinely protected you are not divinely protected Spiritually, you can be attacked, harmed, hurt, misled when you are not divinely protected. Okay? And the only thing that can protect you is the blood of Jesus. And that's the message. Peace.